Yeah, look, there's an old ballistic with a lot of glass in it, you know, and I mean to say, humanity, we all have an obelisk up our asses and they put glass in it, so it really hurts. So they are extraterrestrials, look at them. If you're a retard, you go, oh, it's the power of Mother Nature. We've got to save Gaia from our, from our carbon emissions and climate change. I like Mr. Trump, but I mean, liking someone is not a criteria for being a good person. It might lead you to hell. Those who look only to human leaders, if a certain man says it, they believe it. That's very dangerous. There are no infallible human leaders. If what you're saying is that we have no choice and both of them are shit, what are we going to do? Is less evil better than more evil or is it just that evil is bad? Do we have a choice or do we have to choose between two evils? Well, I'm telling you, no, you don't have to, but we do. If we don't have any choice between good or bad or we have to choose a lesser, like my boyfriend calls it, the lasso of two evils. You know, if there's just two evils, what in the hell are we going to do? Just die? Well, they're all liars. All these politicians are liars. There's no lesser evil or more evil. They're all the same. Well, what do you say about him bringing peace and stopping so many wars? No, he lies. You don't they're think all he's liars. Doing that? No, of course not. Well, Trump just announced that there is a peace deals all through the Middle East. What do you think of those? All these deals are being made by Pharaoh, not by the people, being made by politicians. So there's, of course, there's something shady, you know, waiting for us behind it. Well, that seems to be the history of the world. We should just stop believing them once and for all. Everything is a lie. Just before all this happened, there were a lot of people who were making the case to no longer own a vehicle. There is a whole group of people out there that do not own a vehicle. Why? Because they can just call up an Uber driver, and it's cheaper. It's becoming more and more expensive to own a vehicle. In fact, here in California, they're moving towards no more gasoline vehicles being produced. What do you think that's gonna do to the gas prices in California? As more and more electric cars begin to come online, well, they'll need less and less gas stations, won't they? And pretty soon, it's gonna cost you $8 to fill up a tank of gas in California as they try to push out gasoline cars. I think even car registration went up in California, a dramatic increase based on your usage. And as those costs continue to rise, people have made more and more of the case to no longer own a vehicle. Just call up an Uber driver if you need to go somewhere. And people are going less and less places. Why? Because of the state of the world and the fear that they've put into everybody. The gatherings have gone down to almost zero. People are out of work. No more venues. This is really creepy, you guys. And now that these sectors of the market have been firmly established, all of a sudden CV-19 hits, further strengthening these economic sectors. It seems like a controlled cascade orchestrated from the top to pin us all in our homes. That's what it feels like. And we're, you're in a narrative of lying scum. Okay, you're, that's it, and they don't like it when you point that out. That's uh, one of the reasons they're doing this uh, current big lie and the tyranny that comes along with it. I'm gonna get rid of us who've been given the eyes. Those of us who have been given the eyes. And those of you who don't have the eyes, the truth will just look like nonsense.